What's shaking YouTube? Gore's Diamond Series Steel product here, and today we're opening the two newest sets in Yu-Gi-Oh. I have 10 Power of the Elements blisters and a dozen Tactical Masters. I went to Walmart earlier today, I'm recording this on Thursday, and uh, they actually had some already out on the shelf, so I was like, yeah, I gotta get a handful. And the Power of the Elements I got from Target, and it, this was pretty much all they had. But nonetheless, I'm excited to open up these packs. But before I do the giveaway, I'm gonna be giving away a Vision Hero increase from Ghost from the Past 2 and a Favorite Contact from Power of the Elements. All you gotta do, if you wanna enter for a chance to win this giveaway, Hit that like button, make sure you're subscribed with notifications turned on, and then just drop a comment down below. Speaking of subscribing, 70% of y'all aren't subscribed that are watching my videos, and like, I appreciate the views, but I mean, just hit the button. It's free. Plus, we're like 9 away from 600, which is amazing, but I'm going to tear these open out of the blisters, and uh, we'll get into it. Alright, so we got 12 here, 10 here. This should be an interesting video. Tactical Masters. I honestly, uh... Forgot about this set until the other day. I saw that uh, Droll and Lock is a collector's rare in here. And Moon in the, the Runic Wings, Book of Eclipse, Absolute King Backjack, that just got a reprint. I mean, obviously that was the reprint, but that was a good reprint. <laughs> I think the last time it got printed was in like the 5Ds era, which is nutty. But... There's a lot of good staples that got reprinted in here. Uh, Anti-Spell, Fragrance, uh, Droll, obviously, which apparently is super short printed. Anti-Spell Fragrance. It's like Genesis Impact or whatever the last Collector's Rare set was, or second to let. The one that had uh, Solemn Judgment and, uh, God, I can't even remember now. Uh, yeah. All right. Ooh, all right. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to remember old sets, and we're pulling a secret rare. That looks nuts. I don't think it's one of the better secret rares, but it is a secret rare right off the bat for uh, Power of the Duelists. Not bad. I mean, Power of the Elements, not Power of the Duelists. <laughs> Sorry, it has been a, a long day. I'm still trying to catch up on some ridiculous energy loss. Holy cow. I went to a My Chemical Romance show in uh nashville oop this means we got a hit and it really drained me Ooh, violence wars the palace of beginning look how off center this is good god but we got an ultra i don't know what it is with me pulling oc cards lately but uh this is ridiculous but yeah i saw my chemical romance on uh tuesday and it was probably one of the most amazing experiences of my life i waited i'm gonna date myself here Waited 16 years to see them, and uh, finally happened. <laughs> and we got, oops, skipping to the Math Mech Circular, just a super. Obviously, with the power of the elements, we're still looking for the Sprite Blue. But in Tactical, what is it, Tactical Masters, I keep wanting to call it Tactical Evolution, which I don't think I've ever had the chance of opening, except for in Korean, which is pretty cool. God, these are off-center. But, uh, Troll and Lock and uh scapegoat our collector's rares in here Ooh, runic fountain i think this is actually a really good one so a couple of good hits cosmic cyclone is also a collector's rare in here like this is just like bonkers good reprints in this like cosmic cyclone is a super good side deck card and now you can get it for dirt cheap here we got ice jade eight that <laughs> cross keeper vernus lift Amaze Attraction and Tier Limit. Ooh, I think this is a good one. I think this is one of the like the better ultras. I think it's like 10, 15 bucks right now. Tier Limit's Rhino Heart. Very awesome. And I don't know if I'm going to put up any of the prices for the Tactical Masters just because this set comes out Friday, so it'll come out yesterday because this should be going out on Saturday. But uh, all the prices are going to be kind of like crazy. Just people putting it up for the first time. I got Trap Trick. Like the prices always start off super high and then just drop way down. I mean, look at look at Tune Chaos and stuff. I mean, a lot of stuff rebounded because I mean, look at Tune Chaos. Look at that bend. All right, Vernus Lith. Let's get a Starlight. Let's just get a Starlight out of some random blisters. Gem Knight Quartz. I doubt it'll happen. It's not a huge possibility, but it's not it's not exactly a zero percenter. Maybe like a, a 1% chance. <laughs> got a bear blocker. 
Violence, Ma yeah, that. Violence World Sh Shinra Bansho. And then Astrograph Sorcerer. Invader of Darkness is definitely a very weird random reprint. Like, it's only had a handful of printing, but it's not like a real sought after card unless it's like first at IOC. Got Crawler Soma and Vernislif Corolla. Even the backs on these cards are super off center. It's like the the year of the terrible production nightmare for Konami. Like they put out some real quality sets, but in terms of like actual like print quality, like look at this. Off center, corners dinged. If we do get a collector's rare, it's gonna be super off center to the point where it's gonna be a miscut. That's what I'm predicting. Ooh, scapegoat. That was the first scapegoat and uh, we still haven't gotten a Droll in lock, so apparently Droll is super hard to pull out of here. Collector's rare or otherwise. Like, I've seen someone open a box and they had like three copies. I got Loris, Lady of Lament. And some boxes had like just one, so if we get if we get any copies out of this dozen packs, it'd be, it'd be good. Just super off. Ooh. Hey, Droll in lock, there we go. Like, right now, it's like a $2 card, so... It'll probably go down to, like, 75 cents and then slowly rebound back up, like, uh... Oh, what is it? Psyframe Gear. Uh, Gamma. Furnace Lift, Digit Jamming, oop, Gen Knight, Lady, Rose, Diamond. It's probably gonna be a super quick video. I've gotten a lot better at not, like, lagging behind <laughs> when I'm opening stuff. But... Let's see, Fiend Griefing. This was like a dollar card from like Dimension of Chaos for a while. Nazuki, we got another, I think we got a play set of this now. Got another trap trick. I'm setting aside the staples like I did with uh, Solemn and uh, it was e -Telly. that's what it was. Emergency Teleport. That was like a $7 rare at one point. But uh, set, definitely setting like the anti-spell fragrance and everything aside just in case. We got Exosister Returnia. Just in case they like skyrocket up. All right, we got three here, two here. So we can end on Tactical Masters. All right, come on, Collector's Rare. I haven't pulled a Collector's Rare in a hot minute. Not since, uh, I can't even remember. I think it was like a Nightmare Unicorn like last year. Yeah, because I opened like three, three or four king's court boxes never got a single collector's rare but genesis impact hooked me up a couple of times Ooh, this card loves me all right so we got a kurikara divine incarnate i think it's like a seven or eight dollar card now that's dope very cool we got a decent secret like a so-so secret and like a, a good ultra from power of the elements we've gotten two ultras so far from tactical masters Rest has been secrets, or not secrets, supers, wow. All right, Nozuki, Runic Freezing Curses. I didn't even notice that Reckless Greed got a reprint. All right, this is gonna be a very short video. This is probably gonna be like a 10 minute video. But uh, yeah, if you're not subscribed, guys, uh, subscribe because we're about to hit 600, so I'm gonna have to do something cool. I actually might have figured out how to procure a case of Power of the Elements for not too crazy. And Scareclaw Straddle, so nothing crazy for the Power of the Elements. Got a couple of good pulls, can't really complain. Last pack for Tactical Masters. I might, I gotta look and see when my TCG player money's coming in and see if uh, I can hit that Walmart again tomorrow. Got a quick booster and Valence Genesis Grand Duke. Womp womp. So not a terrible opening. We got a couple of random uh, good staple cards. Droll and Lock definitely I feel like it's going to be at least a dollar uh, rare at some point. Then we got two secrets and an ultra from Power of the Elements with 10 packs. And two, I think these are decent ultras from uh, 
Tactical Masters, so not a bad video. But thank you again for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Remember, if you want to enter for a chance to win this giveaway, all you got to do, hit that like button, make sure you're subscribed with notifications turned on, and then just drop a comment down below. All of that really helps the YouTube algorithm. I don't know what y'all did, but the other day one of my videos hit like 1,100 views in the span of like 24 hours. So whoever did that, thank you. But like I said, that's all for today. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did and you want to watch more of my content, you can click on either one of these two links. Don't forget to hit subscribe. See you next time, guys.